everybody. Hi, Tamar. Hello. So today we're going to talk about some theories that we dislike. We try to remain positive. <laughs> we had two videos about theories that we like. Now let's talk about theories we do not like. Uh, I really don't like the theory that uh, says that uh, Tyrion is actually a Targaryen. Wow, but he has these dreams about dragons. Yeah, and he maybe has like the one eye, the one purple eye or whatever. Right, and he can ride a dragon. That can be awesome. Yeah, but uh, in terms of his character, it will be very, very, very disappointing because Why? his main issue is like his struggle uh, within his human heart or whatever, the struggle of his human heart to, uh, between itself is with there is relationship with his father, with his biological father. So he's not his biological father. That can be interesting, no? Yeah, but the, the interesting part of it is that his father rejected him because of his dwarfnessness or whatever. And Lannisterness. And Lannisterness. So if it will be true that he's not a Lannister, story-wise it will be very disappointing because... Pim, pim, pim. Exactly, because Tywin really hates Tyrion because uh, Tyrion is his true this, son. This dwarf, un Lannister fellow, he's ugly the, fellow, is his true heir exactly. and son. Exactly. I yeah, see yeah, Tywin yeah. in this dwarf, that's why I hate this dwarf. And it was, if it's like... Yeah, I hate this dwarf because the king raped my wife. Right. Uh, it will be like, yeah, it's too easy. okay, it's yeah. Too easy. Why not say it? Why not say it? And they both, why keep it a secret? And uh, not only are, are, are they similar in the ways they approach business, the business of governing, they both like whores. Right. Okay, okay, I got one that I don't like. Uh, you might have heard about it. It's the, a theory that, 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 that goes that Westeros and all this world of A Song of Ice and Fire is a post-apocalyptic sci-fi universe that is not... Wait. That it's not medieval times, it's futuristic times, but because of all kinds of sci-fi, like explosions, whatever, post-apocalyptic world, whatever. Now there's this world that we think is fantasy, but basically all the magic is just like sci-fi superpowers, telekinesis and uh, whatever. You can control things with your mind, move objects and read minds, stuff like that. Uh, so it's not based on history. It's not based on uh, the War of the Roses and European history and politics, no. It's a 100% sci-fi world. I think that this would be the most disappointing thing ever. That would make me burn the book. And it will never be. It will remain a theory that you can theorize on once the story is over. You can say, oh, I have a different way to look at the story. So if, you, if it's not a theory that you think informs you on where the story is going, then I don't mind that you're just uh, I don't know, yeah. talking about the different layers. That's creative. Yeah. yeah, that's creative. Another theory that I don't like, even though it's kind of plausible maybe, uh, that Howland Reed, the partner of uh, Ned, the uh, one in, who in, saved his life in, in the, the Tower of Joy. Tower of Joy right? And the father of uh, Georgian and Mira Reed. Yeah, yeah. There's a theory that says that he's the, actually the High Sparrow. Okay, why do you dislike this theory? Uh, I think it is like, uh, will be like... Um, boring. Boring, like a gratuitous uh, shock. Like, oh, yeah. so he's the Highland... Re How that exactly adds to the story? Like, it adds like a different layer that is not really necessary because the High Sparrow is like a really yeah, it, deep character in his own. It doesn't add a layer, it takes off a layer. It's more, it's more interesting if the High yeah. Sparrow got there in some way that is compelling and engaging, yeah. like we saw on the, on the show. Yeah. And uh, real, you know. Yeah, he was like a merchant and then he changed. By someone who disguises himself as this religious for what? He thinks in advance that Cersei will give him weapon and no, no. to fuck the Lannisters and... No, uh, no, 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 it's not, it's, it's, it's boring. Yeah, it's, it's boring. boring. So it will like never it. happen. No, no. I don't like okay. it. There's this theory that Roose Bolton is actually an undead. Mm. This is why leeches take his blood mm. and... Uh, this no. is medieval medicine, what do you mean? Leeches and blood, this is medieval medicine. Yeah, but like, 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 his, like he has to change his blood because he's an undead and this is why he's pale. He's in the north, there's not a lot of sun there. Okay, 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 next theory, next theory. Okay, so another theory that I don't like is that Euron is actually the same person as Dario. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, 
because, because they look the same in some ways and Dario has a, like an elaborate uh, disguise and some of the stuff that he says doesn't make sense, the timelines and Euron knows things that he's not supposed to know unless he is Dario or he has something, I don't know, like a glass candle or something with a dark floor, but I don't like it because again, it's boring, it's reductive. It takes two characters that stand on their own two feet and turn them into one character. So, and he's doing that to get that. Yeah, okay. Why, 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 why? Okay. Why? I don't like these theories. No. <coughs> okay, I have a theory that is even suckier. I'm not sure if this theory is by one of our patrons or he just told us about it. I'm not going to mention him so as not to embarrass him. So as the, as the theory goes that Liana Mormont is the younger, more beautiful queen that will take from Cersei everything that Cersei has. She's younger, she's more beautiful, maybe. I don't know. Depends on your taste. And that she will marry John. And they will rule together. Not Sansa, John, and Lyanna. And uh, <laughs> and of course, it's uh, not very interesting that the story, the mystery, uh, who will sit on the Iron Throne? Who will sit on the throne? Who will win the Game of Thrones? A character that we saw for three episodes in season six. A kid. A kid that we don't feel anything real about. She's, but she's a good actor. She's yeah. a good actor, I like Actress. her. Actress, actor, whatever. So we've been waiting all this time to find out and then it's just, oh, it's her. Okay. Okay, your turn. Another theory that uh, I dislike, I, um, you know, I saw it somewhere on the internet, on the web, you see all kind of crazy stuff uh, over there. This theory says that Rob Stark is actually Brandon Stark's son. Ben like Stark's his uncle son. is his father? Exactly. The brother of Ned, the one okay. that was murdered by the Mad King, you okay. know, suffocated, what he saw his... Not suffocated, burned. What he saw his, his father ah. burning, he was suffocated and stuff like that. Okay. He consummated the marriage oh, with Caitlyn. Caitlyn just before he went to the King's Landing to die. And how does that advance the plot in any way or give an added layer to, to anything? It doesn't. It's just masturbation. Okay, so, but I have an even bizarre theory that I looked up on the web. I had to, to look up uh, like uh, wild theories that I think are stupid. So this theory says that Danny is not the daughter of the Mad King, but she's the daughter of Barristan Selmy, right? Mm. Her, her Queen's guard, and this is why he went to look for her and to protect her, and so she thinks she's... She, she has ma mad blood in her, but she does not. That Th makes sense, actually, you know. I don't know. Barristan Salome, you know, was close uh, to the king. He was? Yeah, yeah, so maybe someday, you know, the, the queen asked him to fix, I don't know, the sink or something, the privy. Okay. He was so like, yeah, comes, sure, so I'm comes a man. And he's like, oh, aren't you hot with all this, you know, armor? And then, yeah, take that off, take that Oh, Ooh. is that a sword? Or you like, you know, <laughs> and you know, nine months later, uh, Daenerys. Daenerys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like every romantic comedy. Okay. Or maybe, you know, Ares said to Selmy, to Barristan and Selmy, you saved my life in the Nine Penny Rebellion, whatever. So, ah. you know, we guys, we take care of each other, you know. So here's my wife? Here's my wife. You know, okay, okay. You know. So I don't know who came up with this, with, with this stupid theory. I think we uh, invented it, maybe, for the purpose of this uh, episode. I, I, I think I looked it up. I don't know. It was a while ago. I can't remember. You think we, we made it up? Okay, so let's wrap it up. Thank you for watching. Please click like if you enjoyed the video. And if you want to support our channel, we have a Patreon page. The link is in the description. Any amount would be greatly appreciated. Itamar will appreciate it greatly. Look at his face at his appreciative face. This is what he looks like when he really appreciates you. And this is why my life is hell. Thank you, Itamar. So the link is in the description, right? And these are the links for the theories that we like. We actually like two videos. You should watch them. And subscribe to get all our videos and we'll see you all next time. Bye everybody, thanks.